Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be doing day four of Pilates to Savasana challenge and we are working on our upper body today. So I am using two pounds of dumbbell. You can do lighter or maybe a little heavier according to your need, but let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and take a moment here to come into a comfortable seated place. You can sit cross-legged like me or you can also bring the soles of your feet pressing your outer knee down towards the earth. Rest your hand either on your lap or on your shin. Allow yourself to invite the big breath in here. Expanding of your ribcage and then as you exhale, everything moves back to center. Again, inhale slow and steady, inviting the breath in, ribcage moving outward. And then as you exhale slowly, everything moves back to core and a big breath out. Really finding the long length of your spine here, the tailbone going down and then the crown of your head reaching all the way up. And with your next breath, as you're ready, go ahead and tend your fingertips on your shoulders. And then you're going to just go ahead and make some big circle with your elbows. And again, try your very best to engage your shoulder blades, taking that big breath in and a big breath out. And then as you're ready, you're going to slowly start to reverse that circle, moving the other way around. And just really paying attention how it feels in your upper body, right? We're just warming up here, we're taking that big breath in. Let's go ahead and do a big breath out. With your next breath, just gently relax your hands down. We're going to make some shoulder circles here. So just moving your shoulders up, back, and down. Again, engaging that upper part of your body here. So just nicely making a little bit more loose before we start adding a little bit more of a strengthening work here. And if you haven't already, just go ahead and switch direction, moving your shoulders other way around. Really good. <laughs> From here, slowly go ahead and come back onto your cross-legged posture. Go ahead and tend to your right hand down, reach your left hand all the way to the right side. And you're going to simply just go ahead and switch side. So really think about moving from side to side as you inhale and as you exhale. Just really stretching out your lats, your lower back. Mm, couple more breaths here just like this. Let's do a big exhale out. Really good. Now from here, take a moment to just go ahead and grab your weights if you're using weights. Go ahead and lock your elbows in and then slowly start to take your weights all the way out to the side. So you're just gliding your hand forward and then slowly taking it out. And then as you do this, your palms are facing all the way up towards the ceiling. Just really keeping your collarbone nice and open. Try not to slouch here. Really good. And just, again, keep that engagement in your biceps if you can. Now from here, slowly start to extend your hands slightly out, making that V shape with your arms. Breathing in. Breathing out. So you're just going to gently glide the elbow in and then out as you keep your chest open. And resting all of that tension in your belly, your spine, again, keeping that core engaged here. Breathe into the space. Breathe out. The next time you go out, you're going to stay there and you're going to make big circles. And again, the circles can be obviously bigger or smaller according to how your body responds to it. If you haven't already reversed it, take a time to go ahead and reverse those circles. Now, whenever you feel ready, slowly start to plant your feet flat on the floor. You don't have to turn around like me. Just go ahead and plant your feet flat. Bring your weights in front of you. As you exhale, roll halfway down and then inhale, lifting it up. Again, keeping your core nice and tight, you're going to try to very much engage the body rather than using the momentum. Again, rocking slightly back and then rocking all the way forward. 
So again, keep that core engaged. Really good, slowly coming up. Next time when you come up, slowly start to open up your arm, right? So every time you come up, you're going to open up your arm, opening up your chest, engaging those shoulders again, activating those shoulder blades. And you can make this movement as bigger or as smaller as your body feels comfortable with. So remember like modifying is, it's nothing wrong. Modifying is actually really important. So just tending to your body is what we do here, right? So honoring our body as we move. We come up. You're going to slowly take a moment here to gently wide open your knees. You can bring the soles of your feet together. And you're going to just gently go ahead and bend your elbow towards you and then open it out to the side. So think about like goalpost arm. You're just going to go ahead and open out and in. Just again, really try to engage the shoulder blades, right? We're not just taking our arms apart, but really pulling the shoulder blades away from one another and then putting it back together. Really good. You can obviously allow yourself to lean back slightly if you want to engage that core a little bit more here. But actively go ahead and press your knees out and down. Now, the next time you bend your elbows in front of your chest, you're going to slowly start to push all the way up towards the ceiling again, really activating those lats, right? Engaging that upper body here. And like I said, you can always go ahead and lean back. Really good. So just try your very best not to tighten your trapezius as much. So just pushing your arm all the way up and then pulling it down. Really good. And then from here, slowly start to plant your feet flat. You're going to take your hands all the way forward as you exhale, lean back. And go ahead and take your hands all the way up towards the ceiling. And then you're allowing yourself to roll all the way up. So again, rocking it back, keeping your core engaged, rounding from your upper back, slowly coming up. I just used the momentum there, but please do not do that. Really just engage your core. Try not to use your momentum. And then the next time you go down, you can go ahead and extend your leg forward, take a big breath in. And then as you're ready, go ahead and bend those knees, grab those weights, and then allow yourself to reach the weights up towards your ceiling. Go ahead and bend your elbows 90 degree. And we're going to slowly start to tap one foot at a time towards the floor. Now, as you do this, obviously, again, keep your core very much engaged here. You're lowering your leg down one at a time, taking a big breath in and a big breath out. Really good. Now from here, holding here, open up your arms all the way out to the side and then you're going to bring it all the way up towards the ceiling. So you're just doing chest flies here with your legs in a 90 degree angle. So again, think about squeezing those shoulder blades in towards your spine and then pulling it away. As your knees are pinning down towards your hip socket, your toes are reaching forward as much as you can, keeping those core engaged. Breathing into the space here and breathing out. The next time you go down, keep your arms open in a T shape and you're going to slowly start to drop your leg from side to side. Again, using momentum is very easy in this posture. Again, don't really think about the depth. You're just rocking from side to side, but try to keep your core engaged. Breathe into the space here. As you exhale, breathe out. Really good. Again, really just keeping that lower back engaged as well. Slowly start to plant your feet flat here. Keeping your feet flat, reach one of your weight up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, you're going to roll up halfway. Really good. And then slowly start to roll up, making it a little bit more bigger. You can lift up a little bit higher if you want. Rolling all the way back. 
really good. And again, try, like I said earlier, try your very best not to use momentum. It becomes really easy. We want to use momentum. But again, slow and steady is the name of the game here. So again, take it very slow. Take your time. Keep those core engaged. Really good. The next time you're up, you're going to hold there and you're going to slowly start to rock from side to side. You're going towards the right and then going towards your left, keeping that core engaged, twisting from your thoracic, activating your abdominal muscles here, taking that big breath in. Let's do a big breath out. Roll all the way down. You can go ahead and extend your legs all the way forward. Grab both of your weights this time. Reach your weights overhead. Again, be really careful when you're doing this. And then as you exhale, you're going to roll all the way up. Again, if this is difficult for you, definitely bend your knees. I should have taken a time to modify this. But again, if you need to modify, definitely bend your knees and you can come halfway, just like how we did like a few minutes ago. But again, if your hands are sweaty, please be careful just taking your weight overhead. And as it comes across your face, you want to be really careful there. Coming all the way forward, you can round forward as well. Slowly rock back. Allow yourself to come all the way forward. Using your core, try not to use your momentum. Go ahead and round. Really good. And this would be a last one. We're going to slowly go ahead and come all the way up. Take your time to go ahead and round. And this time when we come up, we're going to stay up there. We're going to round and then go ahead and allow yourself to find that upright position. So take a moment here to settle down. You're going to do some salutes here. So you're going to reach your right hand forward with the weight and then reach your left hand forward. So really think about your saluting forward. And you want to really like try to think that your shoulder blades are coming all the way up towards the neck. You're lifting your shoulder blade up and then you're reaching your hands forward. And again, if you can keep your core engaged as much as you can, you are going to go ahead and do that. This time, reach both of your hands forward and you're going to make those circles. Again, the circles can be as big or as smaller as you can make it. Take that big breath in. Let's do a big breath out. Again, inhale slow and steady, breathing in. As you exhale, breathing up. And then as you're ready, just go ahead and shake your hands out. And then you're going to go ahead and take a moment to come onto your very first tabletop hands and your knees. Your weights can be forward. And then just allow yourself to sway your hips from side to side. And then gently start adding some cat and cow movements. So just like really trying to bring some movement into your spine here. Inhale, collar go collarbones goes forward. As you exhale, push the palm down, go ahead and round your back. Again, doing that several times, inhale slow and steady, opening up. As you exhale, rounding. Taking several breaths here, just like this, inhale, open up. Really good. And then as you exhale, go ahead and round. Let's so take a moment here to grab the weight in your right hand. Pull the weight towards your lower rib cage and then as you exhale, extend it back. So again, you're bending it towards the chest, your lower rib cage, and then as you exhale, tricep extension, extending back. Now again, really not using a momentum here, but really trying to fire up your tricep. And then when you're pulling your weight all the way up, you're going to pulse here. So pushing it back. Keep your elbows straight if you can. Keeping your tricep engaged. Breathing in. 
Let's go ahead and breathe out. Really good. From here, as you're ready, go ahead and extend your left leg back. You can also lift your left leg up. You're bending your elbows towards the chest, and then you're extending back. Again, lifting your leg is very optional here. You can just prop it down on the floor as well. But again, really try to fire up the core, firing up the posterior part of your body. And then as you exhale, slowly swing back to your child's pose. You can always rock your upper body from side to side. It's a really good release for our upper body. And whenever you're ready, you're going to come onto your tabletop. This time you're going to grab the weight in your left hand. Again, pull your weight towards your lower rib cage as you exhale, extend it back, firing up those triceps. Again, pulling it towards your chest as you exhale, extend it back. Really allow yourself to breathe into the space here and breathe out. And as you go ahead and do this movement, you really want to be aware again, like if you are someone who has like a shoulder pain, definitely drop the weight down and you want to keep that extension very small. You can again go ahead and lift that back leg up just like I'm doing here, or you can always prop it down on the floor and you're going to bend the elbow towards the chest and then slowly extend it back again, firing up those tricep. This time engaging your core a little bit more. Take a big breath in. Let's go ahead and do a big breath out. Allow yourself to drop your weight down. You can slowly swing back to your child's pose, rock your upper body from side to side. And take a moment here to come all the way down onto your belly. Go ahead and grab those weights. Take it all the way back. Relax your head and shoulder down. As you're ready, you're going to slowly just lift your head and shoulder up. Keep your weight holding in your hands. You can just lift your hands up as well, or you can just keep them by your side for this route. Really good. Making the movement bigger with every movement if possible. Really good. Just firing up those core as well here. Breathing in and breathing out. From here, tee your arms towards the side and holding on your weights. And then you're going to take a moment here to just lift up your upper body. So again, when you're just lifting up, really think about your shoulder blade pulling back towards your spine. And you're trying to lift from your core, not trying to dump everything on your lower back, which is very important because oftentimes when we do this movement, a lot of us try to come up by dumping all the weight on the lower back. So try not to do that. Engage your core as much as you can. So lifting up, breathing in. And then breathing out. From here, bring your hands towards your lower rib cage. Inhale, lift up to your upward facing dog. As you exhale, lower down. One more time, inhale, lift up as you exhale, lower down. This time you can go ahead and gently take one of your weight behind your back towards your glute and imagine your weights are pulling towards your heels and helping you lift your upper body all the way up. Really good. So really just opening up that chest here. Because we do a lot of rounding in our day-to-day -day life. So this is like a really good way for us to keep our chest open. So keep pulling that weight back as you do this. From here, release your hands down. Release your weight down. Take a moment here to catch up on your breath. As you exhale, bring your hands all the way down. Slowly push back towards your child's pose. Take a moment here to move through your cat and cow. Inhale, opening. And then as you exhale, knit your rib cage, draw the belly towards your spine, go ahead and round. Again, inhale, open up. And then as you exhale, round. From here, take a moment here to just slowly come onto a comfortable seated posture. Now, again, you can bring the soles of your feet together. You can also sit cross-legged just like me. 
The same, grab your weights, and then your hands are resting on the floor. You're going to slowly just lift your palm halfway through your shoulder. And again, try very best not to use momentum again. I know I'm like saying this a lot, but a lot of the time, we use momentum when we do these things, and really, momentum is not the way to go in Pilates. So really, just fire on those muscle. Keep your left hand extended to the side. Bring your right hand in. And you're going to just kind of alternate hands side to side. So you're bringing one hand to the center. Other hand stays out there holding the weight again. Firing up those entire arm. Really good. This time you're going to bring your hand to the center. But turn your palm down as you do that. So really just sculpting your shoulder here. Take a big breath in. Let's do a big breath out. Again, if at any time the weight starts becoming a lot, please drop your weights down. You're going to extend your arms out towards the side, gentle bend in your elbows. You're going to lift up and down. So just slight little pulsing here. As you pulse, you can make some circles, moving in a circle. Really good. You can go ahead and slowly start to reverse that circle, moving the other way around. Bring both of your hands forward. Palms are facing up towards the ceiling, and you're going to slowly start to take your hand all the way towards the back of the room. Again, try not to straighten it out all the way through. You want to still keep that gentle bend in your elbows. Again, so you're kind of doing like that. External rotation, but you're taking your hand back. So you're really trying to engage those lats. And you're going to go ahead and do a swimmer here. You're going to bring your hands forward. It's going to go all the way up and back. And then you're going to reverse it. From your slowly you start to bring your weights down. You can go ahead and shake your hands out. And then allow yourself to slowly start to slide all the way back onto your child's pose. Really good. In your child's pose, you can just do a regular child's pose or just like me, you can have your one hand forward. So right hand a little bit more forward than your left and sink back to child's pose. You really get that good extension for your tricep, your armpit and also your lats here. Really good. You can keep opening up your chest in your cat and cow in this right hand forward, left hand back situation. Keep pressing your right palm down. You can slide your right left hand across your body, coming onto your nice thread the needle posture. Really twisting here through your thoracic, engaging the core a little bit more. I'll take that big breath in here. Let's go ahead and do a big breath out. Really good. And this time, the left hand stays forward, right hand pulls back. You can sink back to your child's pose. And whenever you feel ready, you can thread your right arm across your body, coming on to a nice thread the needle posture. Breathe in and out through this lower back, your thoracic spine, and also your upper body, mainly your upper body. So you're twisting. And then slowly start to... Come all the way up. You can go ahead and grab your opposite elbows. And then slowly start to bend towards the opposite side. You can also take your hands back. You get that nice little chest opening here, breathing in. And then as you're ready, slowly start to come all the way down. We're winding down here so you can keep your knees bent if you want. You can also go ahead and extend your legs all the way forward. Take a moment here to settle down into the space. If there is any last posture your body is absolutely craving, take a moment to include that into your practice. If not, slowly start to wind down, resting here. Allowing yourself to soften. Really noticing the space and strength that you have created in your entire body. Taking that big breath in. 
Let's go ahead and do a big breath out. Really good. Do two big rounds of breath here with me. Inhale slow and steady, breathing in. As you exhale, big breath out. Try one more time. Inhale. As you exhale, let it go. Now you can absolutely stay here. Just stay in your savasana for a little longer. But if you are ready to close the practice, I just want to say thank you so much, guys, for finishing day four. Don't forget to come back tomorrow for day five and day six. Till then, bye, guys. Love you. <laughs>